All right, so uh, pardon the rain outside. I hope you can hear over me. Um, this video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to power bleed the brakes on your E46 BMW, or in this case, I'm flushing them all the way. Uh, so I've already done this once. Um, you can see that the previous owner thought he should use Coca-Cola in the brake system. This is disgusting. So we're going to put nice new AutoZone brand fluid in. Expensive German car, so only buy the cheapest fluids for it, of course. So the first step is going to be to jack up the car and then put it on jack stand so that you can take the wheels off and access the bleeder screws. Um, I've already done that. Like I said, I've already bled the brakes once. Uh, a couple things before I start. BMW E46s from production date 7, 2002 and up have to use like a low viscosity uh, fluid, whereas, uh, kind of out of focus, whereas um, BMWs up to that production date can just use regular DOT4. DOT4, get in focus. Yeah, you can see. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use a power bleeder. Um, I think it's a lot easier and a lot less potential for creating a mess than uh, just filling up the reservoir and bleeding with your foot. And so I'll show you how to set that up. Um, first thing you're going to want to make sure there's no pressure. There's a little bit of pressure in this one, so pressure relief valve to relieve that. And then once you do that, you're going to want to use the supplied wrench to open up the fluid fill port. I put it on there kind of tight. There we go. Open that up. And then you take the brake fluid. Give that a puncture. And then I'm just going to fill this all the way up. I'm going to end up using the fluid to flush the system and replace the fluid that was in there. I wish these bottles had bigger mouths. There it goes. All right, I'm just gonna let that drain for a minute. All right, so once the fluid is all drained into the bleeder, just carefully take it away and then reapply the cap to the bleeder. I'd say hand tighten it and then tighten it down with the, uh, with the supplied wrench to make sure it's airtight. Then you'll also want to hit your brake bleeder screw, which is right there. It's kind of backlit, it's not great. Um, you'll want to hit that with a little bit of liquid wrench or penetrating oil of your choice while you're getting the brake, uh, the brake fluid set up so that it can soak in and you don't strip or break any of the screws. That would be a really bad day. All right, so now I've got the power bleeder up on here on top of the engine. What you're going to want to do is remove uh, the cap from your reservoir, which is right here. Uh, I can't really see it. It's right there. Remove the cap from the brake fluid reservoir and then put on the cap with an air fitting. You can see the air fitting right there. Um, then you want to take the power bleeder and carefully pop that fitting onto the air fitting. Um, careful not to drop any brake fluid because it's, it's very corrosive to your paint. Um, and then you just want to start pumping. And now you're going to want to start pumping up the power bleeder. So put it somewhere solid. I've got it on the intake manifold here. Um, you can also put it on the strut tower, that's not a bad option because um, you're going to be pushing down on it. So stick it somewhere you know and then just start pumping it. And you're going to want to pump it up to 30 psi. Probably it'll take about 45 seconds or so. So now for the bleeding part. Once you have pressure built up uh, in the power bleeder up there, what you're going to want to do is come down and uh, to be sure I don't round out the bleeder bolts, what I like to do is take the box end of a wrench and put it around the bleeder screw before I put the line on. And then I take the line and carefully put it on to the nipple of the bleeder screw. So now we're ready to crack the bleeder. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that 
uh, you don't you want to impact the 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 bleeder screw so that you don't round it off uh, or strip it. So a good idea is if um, if your screws look especially rusted or corroded, take a hammer and tap on the wrench in order to open them up, just like that. And once you open it up a little bit, you should see fluid start to flow. So once you're satisfied with your bleed on a particular wheel, you're going to want to just close the screw and just snug it down and then carefully pinch the line, pull it off of the bleeder and then hold it up like this to drain all the fluid into the bleeder bottle.